found a near busted out tank in the bayou. Everything changed after that. At only 18 years old, Jack Baker signed away his life to the Marines. With a tall and husky physique, Jack's favorite pastime was football, construction, and holds a collection of wartime stories and books. He eventually married Marguerite and the two created a family, holding up in a large antique 19th century home. Several decades had passed before a storm was brewing near the Baker home. He began to barricade the house in order to avoid any possible damages. During the storm, a tanker just a few miles away from the swamp had collapsed. Jack and his son Lucas set out to the wreckage to find any survivors and found Mia Winters and a small child named Evelyn. Even though Jack worked hard to barricade the home, he didn't know that the danger was already inside. They're mine now. <laughs> small child is not the correct description of what Jack had brought to his home. Instead, she was an experimental bioweapon created to induce hallucinations and form molded creatures through a fungus. Jack and his family were no more. They became monsters in their own respect. The child took control of the Baker home and began assembling her own twisted family. She ordered the Bakers to kidnap other victims, intruders, homeless people, and hitchhikers to add to her family. Jack was in charge of the dirty work, scalping, skinning, and disemboweling the victims so that they can be transformed into molded creatures. There were benefits to being under control of Evelyn. Jack has the ability to regenerate fully after death and has many layers of skin. I believe that this child didn't only take over his home, but also brought out the true Jack Baker, one that had experienced trauma during his marine days. In other words, there is a hidden psychopath in every one of the Bakers, but when they were normal, rational human beings, these hidden feelings were controlled. But now that they are far from their own control and actions, they are able to show off their animalistic and violent side. Yo, what's the matter, honey? Don't you want to play with your new system? Jack represents the psychotic, fear-inducing, and nearly inescapable force that has no fear of death, similar to the position he was placed in as a young adult. But having no fear of death has its consequences. Jack can be defeated, but to a certain extent. As passionate as he was as a family man in his past life, that same passion was still alive while under Evie's control. Get some ass back to the house. I will deal with you later. No matter how nearly unrecognizable Jack's final form is during his last few minutes in the game. He still contains an undying attachment to Evie and her family. Jack isn't necessarily killed, but he is instead cured with the serum. His molded abomination gets frozen, and we don't hear from him again until much later on. We see the true Jack Baker in a dreamlike sequence during the last part of the game. Jack explains what truly happened, and that he would never actually harm anyone. I'm no killer, son. Neither is Marguerite, nor my boy Lucas. Ethan, free my family, please. What's interesting is that Jack begs Ethan to free his family, which has led to the speculation that he isn't actually dead, but remains in Evelyn's subconsciousness. In conclusion, Jack Baker and his family was put through unfortunate events that could have happened to any family within the Resident Evil universe. Many are quick to point the finger to Evelyn, but I feel that the true culprit behind Jack's tragic end is the company who had no regard for human life in creating Evelyn. Do you think Jack Baker is still alive? Was he freed after Evelyn's death? Be sure to comment down below your opinion, as well as other suggestions for lore. Thank you Nachos for all the support, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe as it will help the channel out. Stay safe out there, and as always, stay single.